We got our own code in Bee Swarm Simulator! Subscribe and hit that bell button to join the Bright Army and be part of the Bright and Early Squad! Welcome back, Brights! I'm Sabrina Bright, today on Terabyte Games! Today I'm gonna tell you a code that can give you a ton of stuff and I'm gonna give you a strategy for the best way to use it, so stay tuned! But before we get into it, let's do a bright like spike on the count of three! Everyone's gonna smash that like button with your head! One, two, three! Holy moly! Look at those likes fly! That's insane! Maybe if we get enough, we'll get Lion Bee once and for all! The only bee I don't have! <laughs> Actually, I don't have Vicious Bee. <laughs> So today, I'm gonna be telling you a code that was made just for us, which is pretty awesome, and I feel honored to have my own code in Beast Swarm Simulator, but I don't wanna tell you guys the code just yet because I don't want you to just go use it. I want you to use it wisely, so I'm gonna tell you all the things that it gives you and explain like how you should you know, like how you should prepare for it and what order you should do everything. But first, I want to do all the things I normally do when I join Beast Swarm Simulator, which is go through and look at how many, like, look at my treats and my royal jellies and just kind of like use them because I've been working toward getting three level nine bees. I don't have any yet, but that's the last thing I need to do for the quest I'm doing for Mother Bear over there. And then I think I may either have one more quest for Mother Bear or I may be done. I think I do have one more. And then I'll get a star treat, which can turn any bee gifted. We're gonna go ahead and level this one right here, my ninja bee, is the one that is the closest to a level 9. So we're gonna go ahead and give all my treats to my ninja bee real quick. We'll give all the regular treats to it. Alright, and it's actually pretty close. Ninja bee also likes blueberries, so I'm gonna go ahead and give all my blueberries because it gives you, like, I think double. So blueberries are normally 25 bond each for 25 points basically. But when you give it to a bee that likes it, it doubles it to 50 I'm pretty sure. So make sure you're paying attention to what treats you're giving your bees. So now we are at almost 400,000 out of 500,000 for ninja bee and I've got some pineapple treats. I've been giving my pineapple treats to fire bee because fire bee likes pineapple treats and um, I think that's gonna be another bee that I level up to a level nine. So we're gonna give all those to fire bee. And then my strawberry treats, I've been giving to rascal bee, wait, hold on. Does Riley bee like strawberry treats? I think I've been giving it to Riley bee. Let's give one and make sure. Yes, Riley bee loves strawberry. So we're gonna go ahead and give all these treats to my Riley bee. And then the last one is sunflower seeds, which I've been giving to my looker bee. So I'll give all those because looker bee likes sunflower seeds. And that one's eh, almost a halfway. But yeah, my ninja bee is gonna be my first level nine. And I also have 50 royal jellies. And I always like, every once in a while, I'll go through and try to like use it on a duplicate bee that I have and see if I can get a gifted bee or lion bee, the only bee I haven't hatched. I can get vicious bee very soon, but I need 250 stings stingers and I only have 218 stingers so we're almost there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it on this looker bee down here in the bottom left because I have three looker bees I think. Yeah I have three of them. So we're gonna go ahead and use it on this one that's not even gifted. Um, but if you get a duplicate gifted bee keep it because then you can it still counts as a gifted bee and you can go use it to get star amulets. Don't waste your gifted bees. I'm just gonna do this until we get lucky or not lucky. Um, I like to use another button. <gasps> yes! Finally I got Lion Bee! Oh my goodness! Now Lion Bee is like, I think the strongest attacking bee or one of the strongest ones and it could have really helped me when I was trying to get my diamond ant amulet, which I did without it. <sighs> Hopefully my code will help me get the uh, supreme amulet, is that what it's called? Supreme? Can't believe we got Lion Bee, yes! Alright, I'm just gonna save the rest of my royal jellies then. Alright, so let's go ahead and go through all the things that my code gives you. You get one stinger, you get 10 blueberries, so those are helpful. You also get wealth clock times one. If you don't know about the wealth clock, I want to explain it to you because it's new and I feel like a lot of people don't know about it or don't understand it. The wealth clock can be found over here where the honey storm used to be. 
the honey storm has been moved to right here but this is the wealth clock and basically how it works is once you've activated it five times it you can only activate it once every 30 minutes and if you leave the game it starts over so you have to stay in the game and once you've activated it five times then a bunch of tickets will pop up all over the place just like a honey storm but it'd be tickets which is epic because I almost have enough tickets to get a star tree you need a thousand tickets and I have like 900 and something so we're definitely gonna be using that and seeing if we could go get a star tree and make one of our bees gifted today yeah I've already done three I have my wealth clock times three every time you activate it it gives you more pollen collection and you'll get one using the code and so I'm gonna get it to four but the reason I'm not saving it to five yet is because the next thing you get in the code is rage times five this is really gonna help like in the ant challenge I definitely want to do an ant challenge straight away when I start the code it can be used in many different ways for you guys like if you don't care about doing the ant challenge or maybe you already have the best amulet in the ant challenge then you don't need to do this part you'll have five times five rage so I want to do the ant challenge first and you also get a black bear morph so that will also help in the ant challenge or just with pollen collection and walking faster you could go do tunnel bear if you wanted you get rage times five or king beetle and the last thing you get is the rose field boost times three what I'm gonna do when I use the code is I'm gonna go into the ant challenge try to get the best amulet we might not but now we have lion bee and then as soon as I'm done with the ant challenge I'm gonna go activate a red boost and hope that it's rose field and equip my let's go ahead and uh I'm gonna keep this equipped right now for the ant challenge but but I'm gonna go right after the ant challenge into here into the red headquarters and activate a red boost and hopefully it'll be a rose field that'll add to the times three boost from my code and possibly get up to like a times seven boost which would be insane pollen collection and we'll be fully taking advantage of everything in the code at that point all right so are we ready are you ready to use this code guys I just want to remind you that nobody knows this code you guys are special for being here on this channel because nobody has ever used this code before and nobody knows about this code you're like the first people to hear about it so say yes I'm ready in the comments no I'm just kidding <laughs> all right the secret code is Terra Bright Fight! <laughs> so use Terra Bright Fight, go up here to the little settings gear, the system gear, and that's where you put in codes. So use Terra Bright Fight. I'm gonna turn my face cam off for a second so you can actually see it written. So there you go, right? Terra Bright Fight. I don't know if capitalization matters, but it's capital T, capital B, and capital F. And as soon as we redeem this, we gotta get to work. So first, I'm gonna go over here before I actually redeem it to the ant challenge. Like I said, you guys can use your rage in any way you want. You don't even have to do this. You can go straight for the field boost for the rose field. But I want to see if we can get the next ant amulet that I don't have. Um, you have to get to 150. Let's see, the Supreme Ant Amulet. That's the one that I don't have. I have the diamond. So if we could get to 150, that'd be amazing. So we have all my bees here. We actually have Lion Bee. And we're about to have times five rage. Are you ready? Get set. Redeem! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm a bear, I have times five rage. Oh my gosh, I'm like collecting so much pollen. I just, I gotta not die. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm actually gonna just concentrate now because this takes a lot of concentration for me and if I keep talking, it's not gonna end well. <gasps> oh! Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, I just wasted that because I wasn't expecting to get all those tokens and all those ants come out. Normally I'm like super good at that. I don't know how I got all of the tokens. So yeah, we're keeping the old one. Oh man, what a waste for me, but that's okay. We'll have more time now. We're gonna go to the Red H uh, headquarters and equip the scythe here because this is good for red pollen collection. And we're gonna turn this boost on. Oh, it's the mushroom field, dang it. So that, it would have been epic for you guys. Like you should try to like, save your red boost just so you could see if you could stack the boost for the rose field um sadly 
it applied to the mushroom field. So that stinks, but it's okay. What's sad is my next hive spot is gonna cost like 500 and something million honey. So I'm only halfway there. I have, I have 242 million honey right now. So it's taking forever to get another hive spot. I have 931 tickets. Hopefully like a sprout will pop up and we'll be able to get some tickets out of that. That's how I've been getting so many tickets is, uh, first of all, like the fireflies come out at night, you see them. Um, sometimes they'll leave like gr glowing grass on the ground and sometimes either honey or tickets will pop out of them. And then also obviously when sprouts appear, <laughs> definitely always take care. Oh yes! <gasps> I'm gonna get a stingers! Okay, so Vicious Bee, if this is new to you, Vicious Bee just appeared and my bees are going to attack Vicious Bee. But I have to uh, avoid the red dots on the ground because stingers pop up and they will hurt me. After we defeat Vicious Bee, then we get stingers. One to three stingers. Oh my gosh, there's so many red dots. Uh, so I actually need these so bad because once you get to 250 stingers, you can go get Vicious Bee as your own bee. So I'm so close but so far right now. So let's see, level five. That's actually kind of weak. I think I've seen a level six and seven before. But I think we're probably only gonna get one stinger. If we get more than one stinger, then I don't know. It must just be random, not based off level. Woo! We got two stingers, okay. Now we have 221 stingers. We just gotta get to 250. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I actually upgraded my sprinklers and I have the the one that was like 33 million. So basically I could place sprinklers two separate places. Like I have the two double sprinklers. And if you don't know what the sprinklers are, it's just it waters it so that it grows back faster. All right, now for the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and do our fifth wealth clock generation and it's gonna put stuff everywhere, tickets everywhere. Hopefully I can get enough tickets to get to a thousand. I have, once again, 933 tickets. So I need quite a lot of tickets. So we're probably gonna be a few short. Um, so I'm gonna hope for a sprout. There we go, oh my goodness! It will now print a ticket every 30 minutes. What does that mean? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. It gives tickets every 30 minutes, really? This is my first time getting the wealth clock to times five. And so I, I wasn't really, I've never done this before. <laughs> All right, so I just went back and watched back the footage to see what happened to my rose field boost. And well, let's just say, it's because I died. It disappeared when I died. That was not the smartest thing to do. So if you aren't completely confident in beating something, I would suggest not to use the boost because then your, your boost will go away. I think it'll still stack. I think you'll still get, um, if you get a rose field boost from the red headquarters on top of the terabyte fight code, I think you'll get like times seven boost, which is insane. And I wish I could have showed you guys. Uh, I shouldn't have died. I don't know what happened and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not perfect. By the way, I'm almost done with my star journey. The only one I have left is collect 7,500 blue boost tokens and that one's super difficult. Difficult, guys, it's taking me forever. Like I I'm barely just past the halfway point on that one, but I have all the other ones done. And let's go ahead and just get some moon tokens here. Oh, sometimes the fireflies go inside and you have to like get them in there without seeing them. They go inside the cave. It's been 30 minutes and there's about 15 seconds left until I could probably use this to get some tickets or something. Use wealth clock. Uh, what happened? I received ticket. Wait, really? You just get one ticket? I thought you were gonna get a bunch of tickets. So you get one ticket every 30 minutes. Oh, wow, that's so sad. <laughs> well, looks like I gotta keep saving up to get a star treat for my event bees, but we're really super close. We've seen what happens when you, uh, you save up the wealth clock. I feel like it's not worth it. Like it is, but it's not. Like one ticket every 30 minutes. Should get like 
at least 10 to get rewarded for staying in the game so long. Because think about it, you have to get it to times 5 to do that. Basically times 6, because the 6th time you do it, you get a ticket. So, that's 6 times 30. Except... You, uh, you get free 30 minutes using our code. That's gonna be it for this episode. I'm so happy I finally got Lion Bee. It was the only bee that I hadn't hatched yet. Um, so now we just gotta get Vicious Bee and we'll have every bee in the game. But if you are new, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to join the Bright Army. And don't forget to turn the bell button on so you become part of the Bright and Early Squad and be notified every single time we upload. And uh, make sure to check out some videos you may have missed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.